to be or not to be the first spring butterfly of the season? That is the question we are talking about today. We're talking about spring azures, formally known as the first spring butterfly of the season. Now I'll explain formally known in a few seconds, but Let's start with geography. Spring Azure is in all the way in North America, even down to Colombia. There's a few parts in the U.S. that may not have them, which is the Texas coast. Um, and there's a certain part in Florida that may not have them. The reason why we are calling Spring Azures formally known as the first one of the first spring butterflies is because back in the day, a certain Mr. Edwards no, not that Mr. Edwards from Little House on the Prairie. Another Mr. Edwards who was studying spring azure butterflies thought that the spring azure butterflies were the same species as the summer azure. And long explanation of how that happened, but basically he thought they are the same species. Fast forward a few years and another Mr. Wright who started studying the wings of spring azures noticed that the males of the spring azures their structure was completely different from the summer azures and so they are indeed a different species since that scientific fact has been discovered they have noticed that quote unquote summer azures which really should not be their name anymore summer azures actually do come out as early as march and as late as December. So spring azures are no longer known as the first butterfly of spring, unless you live on the West Coast because the West Coast, we don't get summer azures here, sadly. We don't get a lot of blue butterflies. Um, the East Coast has like the Eastern tailed blue, the Lucia azure, the Appalachian azure, Lots of different bu blue butterflies here on the west coast. We get spring azures. Spring azures are a very pretty blue. Summer azures are also known to be quote unquote blue. Now some of you might be asking how can you tell a spring azure from a summer azure? <clears throat> um, well, I doubt any of us are going to get close enough to study the wing structure of the male spring azures to tell the difference between them and summer azures. So host plants of the spring azure are flowering dogwoods. Um, some others are viburnums, New Jersey tea, They've also been seen on American holly and black cherry, and they also love blueberry. So some of the host plants for the summer azure butterfly are flowering dogwoods as well, but they only use them to a certain point in spring because after late spring, they become toxic to the caterpillars. They'll still use the flowers for nectar, but the tree becomes toxic apparently. So summer azures also use shrubby dogwoods more than flowering dogwoods and sparkleberry new jersey tea as well and some wean stem some common wean stem those are host plants of the summer azure so some common nectar plants for the spring azure is also new jersey tea um, privet dogbane and common milkweed and they like blackberries as well. So literally the spring azure butterflies really as an adult butterfly only have a few days. So they have three days to mate and find a host plant to lay their eggs. So the more flowering dogwoods we can plant and flowering dogwood is a perfect tree to plant in your yard. So you don't need big property to plant a flowering dogwood. They're beautiful, at least in my opinion. I think they're gorgeous and they're native to the U.S. So let's plant more flowering dogwoods, guys. I don't know why they fell out of fashion or style or something. Anyway, let's plant more flowering dogwoods for the spring azure butterfly. And the summer azure will use them as well.
Speaking of that Mr. Edwards, upon further research, trying to find a picture of Victor French, who played Mr. Edwards on Little House on the Prairie, obviously couldn't find one that was not copyrighted. But upon my research, I found... <laughs> I got into a rabbit hole and looked into Catherine McGregor, who played Harriet Olsen on Little House on the Prairie. Interesting tidbit fact, the reason why she wasn't in the very last episode of Little House on the Prairie, when they kind of all came back and did their reunion thing, is because she was on a trip in India. Basically, was an alcoholic. And during her, when she was recovering from alcoholism, she turned to Hinduism to help her. And so she went on this huge pilgrimage in India, and that's why she was not in that last episode, which I find a little fascinating. Random tidbit about someone we all know and love who played Harriet Olsen on The Little House on the Prairie. So that was that rabbit hole search. There, now you all know why it takes me so long. <laughs> that is it for the spring is yours. It's actually summer azures can come out before spring azures and it's really confusing and they really should rename the summer azures. That's it for today. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I love you. Hope I see you again.